Hello everyone. So if you're an up and coming artist, or even if you're not, you're probably gonna watch a lot of YouTube. And if you belong to the up and coming artists, then you're most likely to watch a lot of art YouTube. And that's really good because if you surround yourself with art and you consume a lot of that, then you're probably gonna be more motivated to do it. As long as you don't overdo it and become depressed because everybody's so good and you're not. If you've struggled or are struggling with problems of that sort, then you've come to the right place. Because today I'd like to talk about some YouTube channels. Especially those YouTube channels that might not be on everyone's radar. So this is purely for artistic growth, you know, and not for whatever entertainment while you are drawing. Because let's be honest, everybody entertains themselves differently. And if you would know what kind of videos I watch while I draw, you'd be surprised. Now let's get into the list of the few channels that I think are definitely worth checking out as an artist in the beginning and you will most likely profit quite a bit of watching these people do their thing. And just so you know, I won't tell you about anything like, you know, Proco or Cenex Design or Mark Brunet because these are channels that everybody knows and by God, they are not bad at all. They're super good. They give you everything you need to learn to draw and they do it in a super professional and good way and I think they're pretty good guys. Now that we have the fact out of the way that I won't cover the mainstream art channels that are super big and everybody knows, I have a list of four channels of which I would say two channels are not really art channels. Not in the form of drawing at least. But I'll start with one that covers drawing, which would be FCD School. It stands for Feng Zhu Design School. And the name is basically program because it's literally Feng Zhu, which is like an expert designer. He's really, really good and absolutely a titan of the industry sitting down on his desk and just explaining basically everything you need to know about design, about certain techniques, about pipelines, about the industry, everything. I know for some of you it might be a little boring because there's no flashy images and subway surfers in a split screen scenario. However, it is super educational and you will truly benefit if you watch the stuff that he uploads. And as a matter of fact, he's back. He's been away for like two years, maybe three years, and now he's finally back making the design cinema, which is the name he gave the lessons that he uploads on YouTube. Really great content from this guy and you can believe me that everything that he says is believable. Like, you can believe every word that this man says because he knows his shit. He knows his shit better than I do anything. So I highly recommend you check him out. Even if you're an absolute beginner who is learning the fundamentals and everything, it's kind of therapeutic hearing him talk, at least to me, makes me feel like I'm in school again. But anyway, I'm drifting off. Let's get to the second point in the list, which is a very small channel run by God knows who that is called My Procrastination Fix. And just as with Feng Zhu's School of Design YouTube channel, the name is the program. This is some guy or some girl fixing their procrastination habit by uploading daily or whatever everything they do. And I'm not saying you need to watch every 1000 whatever episodes of the speed painting that this guy or girl has uploaded. No, but you should take a look at this channel. Take a serious look and a deep breath and think about yourself. Have you put in effort that is in any way, shape or form comparable to that? The answer is probably no, but that's not the end of the world because I think this channel is perfect for gaining motivation. Just scroll about on this channel and you will find thousands or hundreds or whatever kinds of videos of them drawing. And it's just truly inspirational. I myself don't really watch their content, but I saw the channel and whenever I see it in my home feed, I click on it, give a like and probably click off or just watch it through in the background. Just because whatever they are motivated by, it gives me so much motivation to see them do what they do. And I hope they're not stopping. Now the third thing in our list is a channel that has something to do with drawing. I mean, the guy that runs the channel is an expert artist. But I wouldn't say that his content is about drawing and 
improving how you draw. I would say it's more a mental health channel for artists. At least that is the way I experienced this guy. The name of the channel is Adam Duff from Lucid Pixel. And this guy, he's got a special place in my heart. Every time he opens his mouth, there's just this truth that he speaks. He doesn't speak in kind of riddles or whatever. He tells you what he thinks and it's basically always right. He explains to you what it means to be an artist mentally, what you have to do and what you have to endure. And you can really, in the tone, how he speaks, that he himself has experienced every single bit of that. I absolutely urge you to check out this channel and this guy, because if there's just one channel you want to check out from this list, then make it this guy. Because if you're in a bad place in your head, you're never going to improve with your drawing. If you want to become an artist, then you have to sort yourself out first. And now last, but definitely not least, is a channel that has, again, basically nothing to do with drawing. At all, in fact. Because the channel I'm talking about is called The Tail Foundry. And as you could have guessed, it is about writing stories and creating worlds. And even though we are artists and we want to draw nice pictures and nothing else, that's a part of drawing that is intertwined with it. We constantly have to come up with new characters, new worlds, new designs, stories for our characters, stories for our groups of heroes that we have in our minds. And believe it or not, there's a theory to all that. There are things that you can do to vastly boost your creativity and your storytelling skills. And this channel tells it to you for absolutely free. They have videos about super specific things that get told in stories and tropes that are overused and everything. So if you ever struggle with coming up with an idea for a world or for a character, or you're just not satisfied and struggling to get that little oomph into your story, check this channel out. It's very straightforward. And there's even a little robot mascot. I think it's pretty cool. It's like the little ball that I made in like five minutes here and suddenly it became the mascot and, you know, but they can animate it and I don't. So yeah, before I start drifting away from the actual theme of the video, I'd like to tell you happy searching for the channels and of course happy drawing and I'll see you whenever I will see you actually. I have no plans for a new video. Might be a while. Goodbye.